The if function in Excel is a tool to do a logical test and based on the outcome of the logical test, the if function will return a value that you will define. The easiest way to learn about this function is with an example and therefore we're going to look at this names list here with some test results in column B. So let's jump right in. We will use the if function, so we write down equals if and type the opening bracket. And as you can see, the first thing we have to do is the logical test. Now let's say the student is going to pass if the score is bigger than 50%. In this case, we select the field or the cell of the score value and do the check if this score is bigger and let's say if it is bigger or equal so therefore we type bigger equal if this score is bigger or equal to 50 then now we have to type in the value which should be returned if the logical test is true then we will return the value pass and by the way, every time you want to return a word, you will have to put it in parentheses. So if this is true, the student is going to pass. If it is false, then the student is going to fail. Then we type in the closing bracket, hit the enter key, and now we can drag this formula down with the fill handle. And you can see Oliver is going to fail since he has less than 50%. Matthew is going to pass because we said everyone who has 50% or more um, is going to pass. Now, let's say for every student who has more than 40%, this student has the option to do a retake test in the current year so that they don't have to wait for the next year. Therefore, usually we would use an if else function, but in Excel, there doesn't exist an if else function, so we will use a nested if function. So basically multiple if statements. Now, again, the first check is if this score is bigger than 50, then the student is going to pass. Now, if it is not bigger than 50, then we have to do our next check. So we say again, if now if the score is bigger or equal to 40, then the student will have the retake option. And if it isn't even bigger than 40, then the student is going to fail for this semester. And at the end, we are going to type a second closing bracket, hit the enter key, drag the fill handle down again. And as you can see now, Oliver has a retake option. So currently, he did not pass because he is less than 50%. But since he has more than 40%, he has the retake option. And Michael, for example, is going to fail because he even has less than 40%. So he is not getting the retake option. Now, let's look in a new sheet at if and functions. So let's say again, we have a semester, we have two tests in this semester. And only if the student passes both tests, he has passed the semester. So only if the student has more than 50% in both tests. For that, we again use the if function. So we type in equals if and the opening bracket. And the logical test now includes the and function. So we write down and and type in the opening bracket. And now we have to do the two logical tests. The first one is, is test one bigger or equal to 50%? And now then here comes the second logical test and is test two also bigger or equal to 50%. Now we type in the closing bracket and this whole and function is the logical test of this if function. So if B2 is bigger than 50 and if C2 is bigger than 50. So if both of them are true, then the student is going to pass. And if one of them is false, then the student is going to fail. Now we again drag the fill handle down, 
And as you can see, Oliver, for example, is going to fail since in the first test he has less than 50%. Now, it could also be the case that, for example, it is only relevant that the student has to pass one single test of both. So either test one or test two, or of course, both. In this case, we have to use the or function. So instead of and, we write in or. Now we're basically checking is B2 bigger than 50 or is C2 bigger than 50. And as you know, the logical or function always returns true if one of both elements is true. Of course, also if both are true, then the or function will return true. The AND function only returns true if all the elements of the AND function return true. Now we again press the Enter key, drag the fill handle downwards, and you can see now Oliver is going to pass since one of these tests is more than 50%. Michael is going to fail since both the tests are less than 50%. And that's it for the if functions with multiple if statements, including AND and OR functions. I hope this video helped you to understand how to use if else functions in Excel. So basically with nested statements. And if the video helped you, I would be glad if you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. And I see you in the next video.